Hey, this is Wally with Supreme Gecko, and I've been looking for a sponsor and a promoter for the channel all year, and maybe we have one here. This is Grub Terra. They contacted me via email, asked me if I would like to try some of their black soldier flies out. I said, sure, let's go ahead and open this package. Well, they arrived this morning, and we're ready to open. Now, I kind of expected some tape here holding these, uh, these containers, but everything seems to be in order. I have two containers, and again, these are black soldier flies. Get rid of the box. Again, these are black soldier flies, Grub Terra, and we're going to take a look at these. Nice packaging, nice air holes. I'll get a close-up of these, but on... Initial inspection, they look pretty good here. So we'll go ahead and put these away. I'll feed later tonight, and we'll see how the geckos react to these. Grub Terra, black soldier flies. I took the two cups of black soldier fly larvae downstairs. I set up a six quart container with some jungle mix, I threw in some vegetables, just something temporarily for them to eat. Not sure what that mealworm's doing in there. Now again, this is a paid sponsorship. Grub Terra sent me a thousand of these black soldier fly larvae, and I'm going to give my opinion at the end of this video as honestly as I possibly can. There's a lot of larvae in this cup. Before having Grub Terra send me these black soldier fly larvae, I did a lot of research, investigation on the web, and I tell you what, Grub Terra knows what they're doing. They've done a ton of research. They've really set this product up well. And here's a special note. You can get a 10% discount on your very first order. You can use Grub10 as your discount code. I've always known that black soldier fly larvae compare great to crickets and mealworms in all categories, but there's one category that they stand out in. Take a look at those calcium levels. That's crazy off the chart calcium levels. We know that they're a great option for calcium, but how is the pricing? We can see that the pricing is pretty reasonable, especially when you compare going to the pet store or going online and buying crickets or mealworms. And the thing is that these black soldier fly larvae will last quite a while. I'm not saying that black soldier fly larvae are going to replace crickets and mealworms and other feeder foods for me in the future, but I do want to say that these will be an addition to the feeders that I'm already feeding. I just need to make sure that my geckos will eat these black soldier fly larvae. Let's go ahead and take a test. Let's feed them to some geckos. First up is a crested gecko, and I'm going to try these black soldier fly larvae on several different types of geckos. Let's just see how the crested gecko does. Now I'm setting this crested gecko up in a tub separate from where I raise them up, and you can see this crested gecko is taking a look at the black soldier fly larvae, having some interest in it, checking it out. It's really not sure what this new food is. It takes a lick, it tries it out, kind of watches it for a while. The curiosity is certainly up on this new feeder insect, but it's just not sure. It's not getting that feeding response that a normal food like mealworms or crickets would give it. As the larvae takes off, I throw in another one to see if maybe I can get a different response we really don't see it. So what I did was I changed out that crusted, thinking maybe it was that crusted gecko that really wasn't interested in the food. I tried this one. It's really not showing any interest whatsoever in these food types. You can actually see the black soldier fly larvae crawling underneath this crusted gecko. There's no sign of a response to these foods whatsoever. But I realized that I'm pulling them out of their enclosure that they grow up in. It's a big change. I've never ever suggested feeding outside of their normal container that they live in. So I tried feeding this crested gecko in its container and there we go. A great feeding response. I dropped the black soldier fly larvae in. 
And this crested took the food immediately. You can see it mouthing the food around a little bit. The larva is going back and forth. I don't think that this is a response kind of indicator. It's testing it. I think that it's just crushing the larvae with its jaws. I've seen this type of behavior before with crested geckos and other geckos too, where they capture a prey item and they move it around in their mouths, especially to their jaws, and they crush it. I think that's just a way for them to immobilize the food item so that they can then eat it. Here's another larvae that we fed to this crusted gecko and it's taking it without any issues whatsoever. I feed a third black soldier fly larvae. This crested gecko is finishing off its second one. It sees the third one. It's moving around. I love how these soldier fly larvae just kind of move around, not super fast, but just fast enough. It, and it really gets the feeding response going for these crusted geckos. And there it goes. The third one is down. And this crusted gecko is really enjoying these black soldier fly larvae, especially after eating a couple of them. Let's go ahead and try to feed another type of gecko. Now, this is a Periodora picta. I dropped the black soldier fly larvae. The picta is just kind of laying there. It's not moving around. I tried to push the larvae over to the picta. It's not very much interested in this black soldier fly larvae. And again, I think the problem is not so much the food, but just coming out of its natural environment. It's the enclosure that it was kept in. It's just not feeling comfortable in this situation. It did notice the black soldier fly larvae, but kind of gave up on it. I tried another picta thinking that maybe it was the picta itself, and I put in a few black soldier fly larvae in a dish to try to keep those food items right in front of the picta to maybe get it interested in taking one. It's, it's not interested in the food whatsoever. It just feels uncomfortable in this situation. So I think that what I need to do is try some other animals in their enclosures that they're kept in instead of trying to pull them out. So here's a viper gecko. I'm going to put a black soldier fly larvae in front of this one. Let's see if it takes it. Showing a lot of interest and there we go. Now you might think that this food item is a little bit too big for this viper, but they love this size. Just a little bit wider than the head size and I think that that's just a perfect size for them. You probably realize that this viper gecko is only a couple two and a half inches long at the most. So I threw in another larvae and right away this viper took it. I think that this is a huge, huge success. Let's go ahead and try a third gecko and you know what we're going to do this time. We're going to leave the gecko in the enclosure. So we're going to go over to our Chondrodactylus and Gallifers, and I love, love these geckos. They're so, so inquisitive. So I put the food dish down. I'm hoping that these and Angelifer will take a look at the food items. It's certainly interested, but it's just really not sure about this food dish. This isn't something that they normally feed out of. It's showing the interest, but it's just really not sure at this point. These chondrodactylus have ravenous appetites, so I'm really surprised that it's not taking them out of this food dish. It's looking back up at me like, what's going on here? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this food dish out. I'm going to take the black soldier fly larvae, and I'm going to actually feed them on the sand. This is not something that I normally do. I don't like to feed over sand. I always like to provide some kind of a food dish. But for this case, we're going to try this because this chondrodactylus really didn't like that food dish. And here we go. It's sniffing it. It's taking an interest. It's trying. And there it goes. It took the black soldier fly larvae. And it's gone. This chondrodactylus has a ravenous, ravenous appetite. It's looking at the second one. And now the third one, taking a peek, smelling it, and there it goes. So a huge success right here. And I'll mention these Chondrodactylus angelifers are just absolutely one of my favorite geckos. So moving forward, I will absolutely be ordering from Grub Terra and these black soldier fly larvae in the future. My only suggestion is that the company tapes their boxes and maybe fills the boxes with something so the grubs don't jump around. 
Thank you everyone for watching. We'll see you next video.